So in this video, we're going to be covering how to use Go Ahead Level with Facebook ads. Now, whether you're collecting those leads using instant forms or your website, we're going to be covering that in this video and how you're actually going to do that. So the first method of collecting leads and putting it into Go Ahead Level is using a website form. Now, if you've never used a website form before in Go High Level, I'm going to show you how to set one up real quick. You're going to go into your Go High Level, obviously, and you're going to go to Sites, and then you're now going to go to Forms right here, and you're going to go to Builder. Now, inside Builder, you can see your previous forms that you have. And you also can go up to the top right and click add form and do start from scratch. Or you could do choose from template, but we're going to do start from scratch for now. Now inside our new form that we just created, we can obviously see that we have the first name, last name, email, and even the phone number. But we could also go up here to the left where it says add form element. We could choose um, a button, payment, address, city, state, more stuff. But we could also do a custom field. Now custom field is up right here in the top right. And you could do a new actual custom field which you create right here by clicking add and then you could do a single line a phone date picker signature whatever it may be as you can see right here i already have two custom fields which is info about them and what is your business name now these custom fields are going to be super important later on when we're using instant forms with facebook but when using a website form you can create them inside the actual form builder inside go high level so if you need a custom field that isn't made by go high level in the quick ad then go ahead and make that custom field and add it to your form now let's say we want to change some colors of our form we could just click on the button and click background and choose any color we want from black to white to light green a dark green whatever we want we could change the subtext the button uh, making it bold or not whatever we want even the alignment so go ahead and mess around with any of the colors anything that you want to change uh, aesthetically on your form and once you're ready you can go up to the top right and press integrate and once you press integrate you can go and choose pop-up polite slide in sticky bar inline if you want to have the pop-up you could do a pop-up if you want to have a sticky bar one you could have a sticky bar one if you want to do a slide in for your website you could do that but we're going to do an inline since we're going to be collecting leads and we always want this to be on our site 24 7. so once we choose inline we could then choose our trigger type which is going to be always show activation options which is going to be always activated and deactivation options options, which is going to be never deactivate. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to click copy embed code and then click done. Now, once we actually copy this code, we're going to go into our website builder, which is either going to be Webflow, Wix. There's a lot of website builders out there. Whatever you're using, it should be pretty straightforward. I'll kind of show you how to do it with Webflow so you know how to do it with yours. So inside Webflow, I'm kind of just able to go up to the top left right here where I can add elements and I can go down to embed right here. Now, embed is going to be super important. Here is my be custom HTML. Yours might be embed. Who knows? But I'm going to drag this embed into our drag and drop website builder, which is going to be Webflow. I'm going to simply paste this code. Now I'm going to hit save and close. Now don't be worried at all when it says, you know, this script embedded will only appear on the published exported site. That just means that when you publish it, it will be visible, but not in the actual website builder. So now I'm just going to go up to the top right and click publish. And once I actually publish that, I can now view it on my site, which it's available right here. As you can see, first name, last name, email, and phone number, as well as the I agree to terms and conditions provided by my company. So this is just one way to actually collect the leads from Facebook. You just send them to a landing page. And on that landing page, you just insert a form from Go High Level and that will automatically collect the leads. Another way to actually collect the leads into Go High Level is by using instant forms on Facebook. Now, this is going to be super easy to set up and we'll walk you through it step by step. We're going to be first inside ads manager here. As you can see, I'm in my personal personal ads manager account. We're going to go to the top left where it says create, and we're now going to go into leads. We're going to click continue, and we're now going to do a manual leads campaign. Continue, and we can now see our new campaign name as we can now type in our campaign name which is just going to be lk leads and cbo now if you don't know what that stands for it's just my initials which is this lk and then leads what we're optimizing for and then cbo just stands for campaign broad objective now campaign broad objectives mean just means that we're letting facebook do all the targeting itself and at the bottom here we're going to click advantage campaign budget turn that on i recommend always doing around you know 30 to 40 dollars 
per day to start out just so you give enough money to all the ads that you're testing in the beginning now clicking next we're now going to go into our ad set level now here for our conversion we already chose instant forms and for our ad set name we can name this whatever we want so i just named my ad set name instant forms male plus female 18 to 65 plus and then ap ap just stands for automatic placements now for our conversion we obviously chose instant forms and, and for our facebook page we're going to choose the facebook page we're going to want to advertise on i just chose my business facebook page and if you haven't actually accepted the terms and conditions for facebook for running instant forms it will pop up right underneath where it says you've accepted meta's lead ads terms for this page it'll pop up actually saying you haven't accepted please accept and you, you can accept right on this page for our performance goal we're going to leave this as maximize number of leads you could actually do maximize number of conversion leads what this means is that facebook is going to choose the people that are most likely to actually convert instead of just optimizing for the amount of leads instead of having 100 leads you now have maybe 15 leads but those 15 leads are more likely to purchase rather than the 100 that came in we're not going to do dynamic creative because we're not doing a dynamic creative test but for budget and schedule this will just stay the same and for audience controls completely the same as well and for advantage plus audience this is going to stay the same now the only thing that will switch in this is if you're running ads locally if you're going to run ads locally right here where it says audience controls we're going to click right next to united states to the right where it says edit we're now going to do search locations and we're going to search our town that our business is in a little tip here if you're advertising in a town that has more than 50,000 people let's say like my town my town has like 150,000 i'm going to make my area less than 15 miles because usually people aren't driving more than 15 miles to come to my store or come to my office wherever your place of business may be keep it under 15 miles unless you are in a town that has people that are all spread out keep on going up until you reach 50,000 people so let's say you're at 25 miles and then you reach 50,000 people leave it at 25 miles we're not going to click next though and now inside our ad name we could just name this 001 just for our first ad that we're posting we can now choose our identity and our instagram account which one we want to advertise on obviously we're going to do facebook page and instagram account for our business and for our ad setup we're going to do a create ad single image or video and we could do ad media this is just going to be the media that you want to advertise as an for Facebook. But now into the important part here where it goes into destination, we're going to click create form or if you already have a form that you want to use, you can just click on that. But I'm going to show you how to create a form real quick. We're going to click create form. We're going to name this whatever kind of lead we're looking for, social media, marketing clients, or if it's agency owners, whatever it may be, we're going to name this lead form after them. So we're just going to do e-com owners as if we're targeting e-com owners. And for the form type, we're going to do more volume. We're going to click next. And then for the intro, we're going to use the background image of our ad. We can do a image that we uploaded. Make sure you do it by this pixels right here, 1200 by 628 pixels, or you could just do the image from your ad, which we're going to do for now. So for our greeting, we just did a pretty simple headline that says gain 10 thousand a month through your e-com store and then a description that says fill out this form and see if you qualify pretty straightforward obviously for your own business it's going to be different than mine but for the description it should be pretty short and for the headline it should also be pretty short don't make the description super long on this grading nobody really wants to read a super long paragraph especially when you're advertising to them now we're going to click next and for the questions we're literally going to choose any question we want we could also add in our own questions now this is where we tie back into custom fields so we're going to hop into go high level real quick and go to custom fields. So inside go high level, we're going to go into settings and we're going to go into custom fields. Now, what custom fields is, is going to be a custom question, basically. So inside the form builder, you can drag and drop questions that are pretty basic, whether it's going to be their email, their first name, their last name, their full name, signature, whatever it may be. But let's say you want to ask a question that's actually not available on the basic drag and drop. Like, let's say you want to ask what their monthly recurring revenue is or how many people they have working for them. Now, these are questions that may be important for your business. We're obviously going to want to have the prospect answer these before we hop on a call with them. We're going to do this inside custom fields, inside go high level. So inside the top right right here, where it says add field, we're going to click on that. We're going to do a single line. It's going to be pretty simple for now. We're going to click next. And for the field name, we're going to do, and then for our object, we're going to do contact. For our group, we're going to do general info. And for placeholder, we're going to do 10,000 a month 
for now. Um, we can do a pre-fill. So like, let's say we want to pre-fill $10,000. We can do that, but we're not going to do that for now. We're going to click save. Now, this is going to be important that you add in all these custom fields that you're going to add in side Facebook. But back in Facebook, we can now do a custom question. So we could add a question, which will be a short answer, conditional appointment request, multiple choice, whatever it may be. We're going to do a short answer here. So now that we added this question so this is gonna be q1 what's your monthly recurring revenue we're now going to click next right so now that we added in this custom question inside facebook we're now going to have to link it up later on when we actually finish this form inside go high level and that will be the end part of this instant form but it's important that you need to sync up all of these custom questions that you're going to want to ask on facebook with go high level using custom fields we're not going to click next we're going to go into our privacy policy you can literally add in your privacy policy link to your website it's gonna be pretty simple i'm just going to add in my business website for now and for my link text i'm just going to put social boost media as you can see it changed right here and then we're going to click next and for the ending we can literally just leave it as headline you're all set for now description it's not really going to matter anyway for the link we'll just put my website and create form now so we have our form title which says ecom owners so when someone clicks on fill out the form they're going to be prompted to fill out this form now we're going to go back into high level and make sure that this is syncing that when someone actually fills out the form they get added into go high level and we're going to sync all of those custom questions from facebook into go high level as well so once you're back inside go high level we're going to go into settings and we're going to go into integrations now once you're inside integrations we're going to click right here where it says connect to your location's facebook account i may think this is like your social media account and it doesn't really mean anything no this is going to be your actual business account so i'm going to click connect right here and once i click connect it's going to pop up with all the accounts that i manage and i'm going to choose my actual business account which means you should just choose your business account when it pops up. So once I get connected to my business account, um, I chose my page and I can now see select ad account. So now I can just choose my ad account that I want to use for this go high level account. So I just connected my social boost media ad account. It's not even that hard to connect it. You really just press on which account you want and then it automatically connects. But now in the top right here, we're going to click Facebook form fields mapping. So now inside Facebook fields mapping, we can see right here where it says map fields in our form name, which is going to be ecom owners and example. We're going to click on map fields, but obviously I already mapped the fields for ecom owners because my camera died, but we're going to go back right here where it says edit. And as you can see right here where it says form fields and social boost media field, we can actually sync these two. So inside the bottom right here where it says our two custom fields, which is what is the name of your business and what's your monthly recurrent revenue. We can see with the form fields, which is in Facebook, what's your monthly recurrent revenue. We can match that with R, what's your monthly recurrent revenue. And now those two can sync perfectly. For the pretty simple ones like email and full name or first name and last name, those are automatically going to sync with Go High Level on Facebook. Or we can click update and that form is now ready to go. So you can now start advertising on Facebook with that instant form and it will automatically sync into Go High Level. Now, obviously inside Facebook, you're going to want to choose your form, which is going to be ecom owners. And you don't really need URL parameters because you're not sending people into your website. Now, if you are using the website form, do add in some URL parameters, whether it's Google Analytics or Triple Whale or Hyros, whatever tracking platform you may be using. But for primary text, headline, um, your call to action, make sure you set those up. Make sure you add in your ad creative and click publish. And you're going to see a bunch of leads come into your business and it's going to grow your business. Now, if you're a business owner that's looking to scale using Facebook ads, go to the link in the description and fill out the form and book a meeting with me where we're going to talk about scaling your business using Facebook ads. If you like this video and you like the content that I'm making, I'm dropping more content like this all the time. So subscribe and like, but for now, that's it. And I'll see you guys next time.